Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric and this is going to be the first Tuttle Tuesday upload of the year. And the good news is, is there's going to be more of these because chess.com has announced that there's going to be two Tuttle Tuesdays a week. And that means there's a good chance I'm going to actually be able to wake up for at least one of them. So you can definitely count on regular Tuttle Tuesdays once again. I'm uh, back home and settled in. So, see you guys around. Thanks for supporting the channel. Alrighty. Good luck. Albi from Italy. Let's play the Nimzo. Check. Some Queen's Indian stuff. Castle. Bill Theory. Hopefully this is okay. I'm playing a pretty aggressive setup. Putting the bishop here so my queen can uh, join the party. Oh, that's a good move. It's a good move. I'm going to go here anyways. Here, I'll probably go B5. I, this is probably going to be played, and I'm going to look stupid. Some finesse. Yeah. Stop it. We don't like those kind of moves here. Oof. I gotta be careful. This is a good move. Please don't play it. No, oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way this is okay for me. But we're going to play it anyways. There's no way. Just no. Grab that. My position sucks. I wouldn't even be surprised to see B4. This bishop is out of the game permanently, so... I gotta play with the rest of my pieces. I, I'm, I'm playing down a piece here. So please... Please forgive me. Alright. Desperate times. Very, very desperate times. Uh, here. Are you guys Myron? Myron the bishop? I need my opponent to not realize that I'm playing down a piece. Because there's a lot, there's logic that you should trade a lot if you're white here, because this guy. This bishop's out of out of the game. We'll see. Uh, 
Phase three, I might have, might have to go for a sacrifice. But the problem with sacrifice is that I'm still down material, you know? I'm sacking a good piece. This is the piece we want to sack. Yeah, that's that that makes the position a lot harder. I have guys on the field and guys that are not on the field. But we're going to make some progress. Yes. Tribal rhythm. I'm going to take and go bishop out. Well, first I'm threatening to take. Even if I win material, I'm still playing him down a bishop. It's a pretty funny idea. But this is also a pretty funny idea. Let's grab. Try to complicate things. I need I need my opponent to really forget about this. Let's go. Uh, let's take. And then go back. Can I not take everything now? Isn't this buddy hanging? Isn't that buddy hanging? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, I'm not. Good move. That's no, not really. <laughs> I won down a piece. This bishop. That's a write off. Long term injured reserve. Doesn't count against the cap. There we go. That's actually pretty. I'm pretty happy with that. Hey, motor boater. How you doing? Mo blow. Papa ick. CTO Keys, thanks Daniel for the five subs and Foogie Boogie. Appreciate that. Do not, uh, do not copy that opening, but the other play was good. The other play was good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Appreciate that. Good start. As uh, Canadians. It's always fine to blame the Americans. That was not me. You can go to the chess.com chat. I'm just reading the comments, which is a form of engagement on Twitch. So there's i uh, I'm only helping. Hello, Alex from Tulum. Alex, the person you're supposed to meet in the chat is Airbus driver. You're going to meet him in uh, London. He's going to be hosting you. Alrighty, let's go bishop e2. This is a boring position, but we'll make it work. I've been depriving people of Title Tuesday. I thought that's supposed to make it the product work better. But maybe uh maybe that doesn't work. Who is Alex from Tulum? Oh. Oh, that's rough. Oof. Let's see. What do I do here? I just want to try a move because I'm feeling frisky. The idea is bishop takes, queen takes, e6, knight takes, and I win the game and we go home early. Awesome. That 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 is not my version of a good time. Let me try this. It's tempting. I can almost go h4, h5. h4, h6, h5, hg, hg. f4 is the other option. One sec.
Do I play something very risky or not? That's the question. I'm going to be a chicken. This is tempting, but I am opening up the H file for my, my opponent, which could be considered a little bit dubious. Oh, well. I should have done that. I, I have regrets over my conduct. Hello to Kukulov. How you doing? Uh, I'm going C4. I need to fight for some space. Guys, Tom Brady officially posted on his Instagram that he was retiring. So when one goat leaves, another ghost, another goat must take their place. So I must become the Tuttle Tuesday goat. That is, that's the only way to do it, right? Right, Chulam? No, I'm, I'm rooting for the Bengals too. I don't mind if it's uh, bur Burroughs. I'm down 45 seconds and I don't have anything too exciting here. But it's solid. I'm the Tuttle Tuesday ghost. That's... That, uh, that's also very applicable. Can I go and start pushing this way? Let's do it. Yep, yep, yep. Push, push, push. Push! Push. Gotta use that majority. Hello, M Psych. Push, push, push. Um, how concerning is that? I think I can get away with it. Bishop takes, knight takes here, knight f1. Oh, that's what it goes to play. We're catching up on time. I'm hitting that. You go here, then I can take and take. Knight b6 looks like the move, but then I'll go c5 and probably h3. Let's see here. Knight d5. Knight here looks like a good move. But I have ideas. Knight here, I'll probably go there. If here, probably knight e3. Okay, let's attack. Let's be a little aggressive. Here, I have this move. I'm gonna double. Or I'm threatening. What's my opponent doing here? What am I missing? Works for me. I got in first. I'm covering everything. Look at these two buddies. Look at the arrows that I can draw. Those are some strong knights. Roko, thanks to the 18 months. Hey, Wonka Bar. 
We flipped the position. I mean, the position here, even if I went rook here, I don't see what white's, sorry, black's doing. It's harder to get tips in the morning. That's uh, that's a true thing. That's why we stream less often in the morning. That's why you'll probably do better uh, working as a server than maybe at a, a evening establishment as opposed to a breakfast diner. Is this theory? No, let's go a6. And then maybe c5, knight c6. This looks like my, my opponent's setting something up here. I must be quick. Knight here is is on tap. There's some something like this, where you distract this knight and you go for checkmate. So cd5, ed5, knight g5, knight c6, knight d5, and then I'm dead. But we won't fall for that. Oh, Airbus, sure. You can pay the $10 later. I'm gonna put on your song. Oh my goodness. This is why I don't like waking up early. I'm not at all ready for this. Am I going to take this? No. I'm not even going to look at it. Nope. We're going to have our own fun. Probably not, but uh, it was worth a shot. Knight here. I want to take and go knight d4 and try to confuse my opponent. Ooh, hinge. I'm telling you, the Toronto hinge is, is really, uh, really a nice upgrade. Let me, let me take and let me play knight d4. Go knight here. Dynamic compensation is what we call this. I got my pawn back and I got a knight here impeding that. Okay, okay, okay. These pawns are split. How can I trade off more? I don't need to trade off more, I think. I feel like this is a good first move. Preparing for the uh, filed. Oh my. Ooh. Ooh. Go here. These bishops are contained. I've, I'm containing the bishops. And this is hanging. Yes. If I'm playing white here, I almost have to bail out and take here. But I don't think a lot of people want to do that because... You're kind of admitting your opening didn't go according to plan. And you play g4 and uh, you don't have an attack, but this is probably the right decision. So I believe my opponent is playing that pretty well. Let's keep control of the e-file, right? I want to play g6 to make some uh, space for the king. Um... Do we want to do it now or later? Later. Make some space for the king. <laughs> so I saw this and I was actually going to... I'm not going to... Am I going to take here? I was going to bait my opponent and play queen f6. Because I want you to open up the file. If you take with a queen... Um, Unfortunately, they're not taking with a queen. So that's kind of moot. What, what if I get greedy? If here I can, I can go there. I'm greedy. I'm very greedy. King here is a move for sure. Oh, I don't like that move. That's the file that I want open. <clears throat> There's a lot of options here. 
This is my first instinct to prepare bishop a3. Hmm. I gotta have something better. Here takes Shit. Chess is hard. Let's take and go here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't know what to do. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Even material, right? X. I'm not too happy about how I've played some of this. This should be a very interesting endgame. Let's king walk. Uh, here. Uh, here. Here. Push. Oh, fucking idiot! Oh, there goes the game. There goes the game. No, that's, that was a sharp game. But uh, the rust is still there. That is a totally inexplicable blunder. It's a fun game, but I think I think I'm a little bit slow here. Past pawns typically beat a single pawn. Where I was unhappy with how I was playing was here. I should have just gone king f8. I don't know why I allowed the rook to come in. Opposite bishops is usually imbalanced. Yeah, rook e3, there's queen f1, that's the thing. Queen f1, it's an issue. Not not that exciting. Let me double check this. It's okay, I don't, I don't, I feel pretty okay about that one, because because I can definitely fix some things, and my position was here, like, pretty good. Rookie one probably is not too intelligent. It's a little tricky though. My pass pawns are harder to push than uh, white's. So white's probably just always better in these end games. Look at this. Like I got to worry about this rook here. I go here. I got to worry about this move and push. It's trading queens doesn't feel right. Pretty sure what I did towards the end was still okay. Don't think I should trade queens. I think that's a good endgame for white. Here I don't have to trade. But the problem with not trading is then I start getting a passive. So let's say I go queen here and like check here. Rook here. It feels like white's making serious progress. This bishop on d5 is a monster. That's one of the issues of course.
The other alternative, which needs to be explored, is getting rid of this bishop. But I thought the reason I didn't is I want to get rid of this knight, because this knight was pretty annoying. 100 for top 10 and 50 for top 20. Thank you, Bako. Oh, I got a GM. Things don't get easier. Probably my opponent here is slower than the previous, though. Alrighty. Uh, this music's too mellow. We're going to have to put on some, uh, some techno. Like, I need to wake up. No, I'll play Len Faki. Len Faki. Mm hmm Sure. Sure. Both sides are developing pretty, uh, pretty peacefully here. Now we got a reverse Benoni structure. Wouldn't be surprised to see this move to try to play knight e4. Yeah, yeah. kind of telegraph that one. Hmm. the bishop in all looks pretty standard maybe queen d7 preparing this okay hope i'm not hanging something my queen's defended so i can play this move really kind of surprised what am I missing? Queen here, opponent has to play that. No. C5. This move. Hmm. I had a trick there. You saw bishop b7, queen takes a1. And I thought, I mean, this, these double c's don't look good at all. And this bishop cuts off the king, and I'm preparing to go rook a2. Something uh, doesn't look right. So let's say bishop b4, rook a2, rook b1. White's kind of pinned down there. Even at five. Yeah. Bishop e7 is being suggested. A. That's a terrible move. And, you know, B, I'm, I'm, I need to make sure I'm not reading the chat. You guys are only going to produce, cause me to play worse chess. Go there. position looks so lost yet I do need to find a move move is forced are you telling me there's friggin nothing here
I don't believe it. I'm gonna go check and then go queen a2 and I'm gonna mate you on h2. If here, queen here, rook here, I have rook a1. And then bishop c1, queen c1, rook a f1 made in the end. So check. You better really have to stop that move. I think f4 is the only move. Am I mistaken? The reason I didn't go check first and then queen here was I was worried about queen a4. And maybe I shouldn't have been. I'm missing something here. Go here. I'm gonna play queen here next. Oh, shit. Now this is a worse version. Whoa, 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 whoa. What am I missing? This move? Or sorry, this move? Then I can take. Here, 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 and queen d2's checkmate. Damn it! Check. Check. Oof. Okay, we'll give myself a KO for that. I was trying to do this with a very similar idea. They play queen eight two. And I didn't because of this move. And I'm probably missing something. Which is unfortunate. So I thought what I did was... That was a fun game. It's a fun game. Maybe I played well. It was sharp though. I was uh, really hoping to get to play this line. Queen f3. Knight takes e5. Queen here. Rook takes, rook takes, queen here. This is the line that I was really hoping to, to get because this is like forced checkmate, essentially. This queen is uh, in rough shape. But... Uh, Next time. The move that I was most proud of is rook a1. Uh, rook a8 threatening queen a1. This is a big move because you win a tempo threatening this. Oh, this kid is good. He's defeated me before. By kid, he is a kid. He's a strong, strong teenage, 25 teenage Russian player, 25-50 feet A or something. Very good. When somebody is called Volodar, you generally know you're in trouble. You weren't, you don't name your kid Volodar for them to get 2600 online. Let's put it that way. The, the genetic line would have failed if that were the case. Is this gonna be a positional Karo? I've been playing the two knights against the Karo, but I'd probably have to revert back to what I used to pursue.
Go here, okay. Um, can I go bishop d3 or am I allowing a very comfortable c5 push? I'm gonna find out. I think c5 is coming. I'm gonna take, play knight d3. Yeah, this is all pretty standard. Go g3. You're supposed to attack on the king side here. That's one thing I remember. Let me take... You can go a4. a4 knight here. Black's going to put pressure on the queen side, but now there's no more tension in terms of hitting d4. And I'm going to try to put pressure on the queen side. Sorry, totally opposite. They're going to go here, I'm going to put pressure on the king side. That's what I meant. I do like the connect 4 we have going. If I can open up the file, I will. Um... King up. Tuck, tuck your bishops in. Probably queen g4 is uh, on tap. But I, I do like the optics right now. Queen g4 and maybe rook h1 would be uh, follow-up moves. And then f4. My knight here is kind of guarding everything pretty comfortably. And a3... I can consider b3. I can consider it. Queen g4 would keep the queen and bishop tethered on g5. Something like this, but it doesn't look good. It looks slow. Even if I lose this bishop, I still have this f4 idea, I believe. My opponent's definitely uncomfortable here, but he's trying to find a very accurate move. Which I uh, hope he doesn't. I don't see. I mean, something like this can be quite disruptive. Okay, that move I'm going to take immediately. Rook here, and now I have a target. I believe I have a target. a good move? It looks like a good move. Because of the pin. I'm trying to use all the pieces, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Almost everybody's employed right now. Actually, I'm happy with all my pieces. Pressure on the A-file, pressure on the E-file, pressure on G5, and an outpost on C5. And a clean bond structure to boot. Rook C6, I'm just going to take and activate this way. That move's not going to do it, is it? What does that do? Coming at you. Here, there's some discovery here, but I don't see, I don't see a follow up. There's a follow up. Check, 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 and mate. That was a, it's a nice one. It's a bit of a crush. Got some uh, good pieces there. 
good. But uh, this this kid's beat me in Title Tuesday and in Russia at the World Blitz in 2019. So I, I've traded wins against him before. He's uh, put me out. And I think he was 15 when he beat me. I'm like half my size. Just one of the youngest players I've ever lost against, for sure, since I became a GM. Very, very, uh, very tough. Ah, Kobalia. Very, very sturdy, strong Russian GM. More of a trainer. But he did well at the World Blitz Championships this year, if I remember. It's probably going to be the timing off. Yes. Not the con, not what I play, which is a crappy opening. Hmm. I'll play this. Not the most exciting. Numeroid, 73 months in a row. Thank you to Numeroid. That's huge. 73 months. So I want to go Rick D1 and C4. I think that's standard here, but don't take my word. Trying to prevent this pawn formation from moving any further. I'm a little surprised by that. That doesn't look right. It hangs upon. I'm going to regret doing this, but we're going to go pawn hunting. I'm going to be very greedy. I think I'm going to take. Am I getting mated here? Maybe. We'll figure that out. I'm taking everything. I'm risking it all. I'm saying I'm up two pawns. Show me what you got. Sorry, what's being threatened here? Knight here. I don't see what's being threatened. Rook takes, queen takes. I don't see it. I don't see what the threat is. That's usually not a good thing. Rook takes, queen takes.
trade off. Trade, trade, trade. Check. Oh, that's okay. I'm very happy to trade. Seriously. Covering the check. And I'm going to grab the diagonal next. Check. Focus. Oh, I see a variation. I thought this was a comfortable win. Was I wrong? Uh, push. I thought I could like just trade this off. Am I wrong about my end games here? I'm going to assume I'm not and I'm just going to play this end game. Probably just wrong. Thought this queen and pawn endgame was winning. I didn't need to sack this pawn. I won't do that next time. <laughs> Unnecessary. So out of curiosity, what's my plan in this position? Ah, this is, this is probably good. Probably winning for sure. So one of the reasons why I thought it was really winning is because this king is in a really bad spot. It's always going to be exposed to checks. So I can check and queen at the same time. So something like this I can even like, for example, queen g4, like just in a really bad spot. For allowing me to find squares that both defend my king and help promote. Was there a knight fork? Well, that, there's a knight fork. They just take care. So, yes, but it um, it doesn't win material. But there is a there is a move knight here. If if this wasn't check, then it would be a really good move. But black takes with check, so I have to react to that and probably take like this. out uh, promising another GM another you know as they say in Spanish a uh, heme eh, and me like GM a heme a maestro gran maestro they're coming 
The Grand Maestros are coming from Ukraine and Russia. They're uh, taking a pause in their uh, situation and coming after the Canadians. Let's play E5. Let's be a principal, Peter. Oh, I don't know this move at all. I'm telling you, when I say is this theory, I don't know A4. I like have never, that confuses me. I'm going to go bishop E7 and uh, hide under the foreskin. I'd never seen A4 before. go here is this still theory I'll stop the pawn there I'm trying to... Because A5 is a liability in the future. Now your rook's got to guard it. I'm trying to understand what my opponent's going for here. They're just going for a position, probably, just like me. Let's go H6. We have the bishop pair. I'm probably going to reroute this bishop to g7 and reroute this knight to d7. If I'm not mistaken. I'll start with this first. Because my knight needs some follow-up squares. Knight d7 and then c6 and I can kick that bishop away. Complicated. It's a positional uh, approach. Interdasting. C6, knight here. C6, knight e3. I wanted to keep the bishop here, you know? That's the thing. D6, knight e3. Bishop c4, knight c4. I don't see a way for us to keep the bishop pair. But maybe if F3 is played, I can chip away at some of the dark squares. Solid position. I'm not like really upset there, but still a little, little congested, no doubt. Let's trade. If knight f5. So takes, takes, knight f5, rook d8. Queen g4, king here. Should be fine. Knight f5, rook here. Knight takes, bishop takes here. I can just go queen c7. Oh, that's a little tricky. Here, what happens here? Oh, okay. Go. Here. Is 
This pawn's gonna be a weakness if I can survive. I need to cover d6. I will, I will, the bishop will get stronger as the game goes on. But it's gonna require, uh... A little bit of uh, help. A good looking bishop though. End games will be okay for me, which is good. What? Really, eh? Okay. Maybe I'm wrong about that. the bishop behind I need some speed it's not good I'm along the night to oh huh? Push, Eric, what's with the friggin' speed? Let's get the bishop outside. Yeah, knight here, rook here. Try to pin. Try to pin. Try to pin. A bishop, I said that bishop would get good at one, one day. One day it'd get good. A lot of you guys can relate to that. Your bishop's never been used in your life. One day it's going to be used. Just got to keep your stick on the ice and uh, keep the files open. Keep the potential there. Oh my goodness, blue bomb. The Germans are here. All right. I want to avoid some of the the finest German theory. Night here, I might be expecting. I can take on d5 and play knight e5, or I can also play c5, knight. Uh...
maybe 92. C5, knight, C4, knight, D2. Alright, let's go for this first. Thinking about playing a4, a5 to soften this, soften this knight. Wow. Knight d5, knight d5, bishop d5. I have to assume this is good. Do I take with a bishop or take with a pawn? Take like this. Bring this back. And then e4. So it's even material, but I won a, a center pawn for an h pawn, and I'm preparing a d5. Could have um, taken on d5 first. I was trying to throw in another as uh, Zug to get better positioning moving forward. I want you to open your mind to new possibilities, to new emotions, new experiences. I want you to forget all the emotions before this moment. The happy emotions, the negative emotions, the bad memories. Happy memories, mm. worries about the future. You are here now. Just enjoy the moment. Let your body do what your body wants to do. Feel the frequencies, feel the vibrations. Yeah, but when I take here, I'm even threatening stuff like that. It's pretty critical for my opponent to, uh, I don't know. This is a tough position. Thank you. 
Here we go. There we go. I'm playing solid today, but it's maybe not the best. Six. D6. H6. <clears throat> this is GM Schroeder from Chile. Uh, good blitz player, good blitz and bullet player. Do I go knight e7, knight g6 here? And then go knight f1, knight g3? Then we just dance like that? Hmm, yeah. Getting a lot of symmetrical positions here. So AB4, CB4, ED4, Bishop D4, Bishop D4, Knight D4, Queen D4, both look pretty solid. We'll see what happens. I did not expect that for some reason. Bishop e3, ef6. A very symmetrical position. I was hoping for some more activity. Where do I want to put this knight? Okay. I feel like that was okay of an exchange. Intense. Hmm. Yeah. Offer to draw because I'm down down a minute. Thought it was pretty drawish.
it was hard to imbalance the position because the move I didn't expect was trades. In hindsight, if I want to avoid this, I just didn't think my opponent would go for it. I thought they would go for something else. I would take here first. Something like this. What I did is fine. I just thought white would be interested in imbalancing it, you know? So my idea was this. Doesn't really matter. I was just I was gonna play this, but at least the pawns aren't symmetrical. I mean, it's a solid opening. It's hard sometimes. My opponent, you know, these are good players. Would I have accepted drawn his position? Potentially. It's not a position White's going to feel very good about at the end. Because now these pawns are probably potentially, you know, going to be looser. Um, but in the end, I don't know. In the end, uh, this looks pretty drawish to me. As long as nobody blunders upon, I mean, two knights. It's tough. It's a strong event. I'm not getting any gimmies, you know, any easy games. But in the spectrum of drawish positions, this is a pretty drawish position. Two knights and equal pawn structure is, uh, it's not even like two knights versus two bishops. It's, it's fairly, uh, fairly balanced there. It's hard to win with any color, to be fair. Bavarian. A common opponent for me. Line's a lot more popular than when I used to compete, so I, I'm not really familiar with a lot of it. Four gonna hurt me. B four bishop takes queenie. We'll find out. That's an annoying looking move. Man, this feels like prep, which is not good. Position is a 
the problem. I was gonna sack material here. Because I don't see what else to do. Here I take, I take, and I tuck the bishop in and try to get compensation. Here, same thing. Need to activate this bishop, which isn't easy. King f8, I'll do. Gf7. I just have to activate it. At all costs. Where's the speed? Shit.
Jeez, what a game. That was an insane game. Double white. Alrighty. That's kind of fortunate. Alright. Bogdan. Very strong Romanian player. The Berlin. Well, I got double white, so based off of that, I think I'm supposed to try to play this for a win and try to catch up to the to the to the big hickey. Right? I'm going to play this position with the double pawns. Giving up the bishop pair, trying to play for structure, it's double-edged. It will be double-edged, we'll see. But Bogdan's a... he's a tough guy, I've played him a few times. Bishop d6, or maybe take... Keep going, let's keep going. This is a big game. Bishop d6, probably knight d2, and I just circle a knight to g3. Six. Knight here. Ooh. I'm a little surprised by that move. I thought I had this. Pawn takes, bishop takes, and I pick up a pawn. Here. Even b4. Probably want to tuck my bishop in and prepare f4. I need to uh, build on this time advantage. Queen e7 looks manageable. Although this is an idea. Am I playing the wrong idea here? Potentially. Knight b6 looks kind of attractive. I Should be six, knight be six, rook d eight. The ship here I can potentially take, and that's an isolated pawn. Not a good one either. I can take and then take, and this is isolated.
Hope I'm not wrong to go for this variation. I thought this would be a long-term weakness. That's not good. Oh my goodness. Be oh, I just blundered. I'm the biggest choke artist in the world. That's a huge choke by me. Yep. Fuck me. Worst game both of us have probably played. <laughs> oh my goodness. What the hell was that? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, I was up like a minute and a half and I, I blundered everything. We take those. GG Bogdan. That was, uh, I couldn't find a win with the Rook and the, I could I just I just fucked this up. My opponent outplayed me. Like to be 50 seconds to five and to not win with this, I was like looking at this and I just like this is probably the best and just to bring the king in and use my majority. But I got nervous. I got nervous and played my worst chess for the end. This is a good move. If this White's in full control. Oh man, easy to analyze in hindsight. But my opponent totally outplayed me with like five seconds on the clock. <laughs> um, we're gonna see how the standings uh, unfold, but uh, this has to rank pretty high up there for my results. I've tied for first before last year in a pretty good one with Artemiev, I think. Um, I don't think my tie breaks are gonna be enough because Hikaru started strong, but. Uh, Nine and a half at eleven is is way better than I expected. That's you know what happened? Today is the very first day that prizes are increased for Title Tuesday. So I think I won some serious cash. Besides you guys subsidizing my Title Tuesdays. So I mean, 
tying for first with Yukaru is not a not a bad result. The last time I played this well was when the stripper scammed me in New York for two thousand dollars. That was in October. Two thousand US. Just pretty much walked into a strip club and lost lost it. Never got the money back. So this is uh this is good. This feels good. All right, let's check the prizes and then I'm gonna shout out the subs. That was good. Nine and a half. Lost to an FM when he got things back. Um, let's click on the prizes here. Title Tuesday. Doubles tournaments, triples prizes. Starts February 1st. Let's see. Let's scroll. Old prize 750, new prize 1000. Old prize 400, new prize 750. Oh, let's go. So pretty much I won the equivalent of first in the under the old prizes. I'll take 750. There's not a big drop off between the two. Hikaru wins on tiebreak. He's got a better tiebreak, as you can see here. Um, but in the entire event, I had the third highest tiebreak, uh, third highest tiebreak, so I don't feel too bad about that. So 750. We win 750. That's going to help offset my uh, tennis losses. And I have a big tournament this month that was just announced today. Hey, uh, playing in the Magnus uh, Carlsen uh, Tour as a wild card. So I got 750. That's good stuff. And let's shout out some subs. Bucko, $100. Bucko Bonsai. Offered an incentive before the tournament. I hit it. Thank you, Bucko. That was so much fun. Those, There were so many games that went down to the wire. Like I was playing well in this game. And then like, as soon as you could tell my opponent was like in trouble. They were spending all this time. I just played awful here. Just awful. Spirit.